Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to be talking of GRIR's cooling and uh, aerodynamics in a bit because we have, yeah, the new bonnet vents here. This is the third version. We have been working very hard. So, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, it's going to help me a lot and we're just going to be back in a moment. So here we are, um, yeah, basically cooling, GR Yaris, what is the point? Uh, okay, this car is super performing, but we have to remember that we've got a really small engine and uh, that this car really does make a lot of power, even a stock, therefore cooling is an issue. Uh, the algorithms that control the thermostat and uh, the, the, the cooling fan and the sizing that has been chosen for the radiator uh, are the point of which, I mean, the water does run very hot in this car, always uh, around or over 100 degrees, even on the road, and then it goes up on the track, uh, really, really hot. And uh, yeah, what to do about it? Uh, also the intercooler efficiency, I am always uh, one of the guys that tries to get the maximum efficiency out of a system, trying to understand the system itself instead of just slapping a large intercooler or a large radiator into the system. So the question I pose myself and I share with you is, what is the issue and how can I fix it? Okay, looking at this car, we see that all the front part of the car has got a massive air intake, a massive grill, and this goes through uh, the package that is composed firstly from the intercooler and then we got the, um, the air conditioning cool condenser and then we got the radiator and all that the air passes through and then it hits the engine after hitting the engine it disperses and it's still got power and what happens is some of it goes through the tunnel of the transmission tunnel under the car and that is a good thing and part of it just escapes where it can. Where it does not manage to escape, what happens is it builds pressure. This pressure does two things for you. Number one, it slows the air exit in a terrible manner, and this brings up your temperatures, okay? And the second thing it does, it creates aerodynamic lift in the front air end of the car. And this is why if you drive your GR, on a motorway at more than, let's say, 180 kilometers per hour on a stock suspension, you will have a super vague steering feel. You, you must have tried that. And that is not because of the setup itself, although the rear stock uh, shock absorbers are super, super soft, but it's because you have got a lot of aero lift at higher speeds. So, how could you fix both problems with one action? Okay, we thought about it. We looked at the WRC car that obviously has been strongly developed and we saw that as it happens with many uh, racing cars, they did install some uh, air exhaust vents on the bonnet. So we said, hey, that's a great idea. We should do the same. Therefore, we set out and uh, we took all the pictures of the actual WRC 2022 car and we retro-engineered having scanned our GR, the stock version. So starting from the 3D scans and looking at the pictures from the race car, we did some retro-engineering. Obviously this is complicated if you do it the right way because you have to think that you are cutting the bonnets, both the outer skin and the in inner skin, and this is structural, therefore you have to do a very good engineering job in order to understand. And we did see what the guys at Kazoo Racing uh, have done, and in the end, we developed these bonnet vents. And these look just the same, they're the same size as the WRC car. I've done a lot of testing on them, and this is already the third version we have, we have done. It's not easy to get this right, but today, things are right. So I can show you some images from the testing.
Okay, so uh, yeah, these um, air vents uh, really make the difference. First of all, aerodynamic lift is finished, no problem whatsoever. Second thing, the heat is gone. I mean, the water temperature still maintains high, okay, but it does not peak in the way it did before on the track. So you will never see more than 115, 130, oh, 20 degrees, I'm sorry. Whilst the intercooler is more interesting because there is so much more uh, efficiency in the system that I still, and I've logged a lot, I have still not seen more than 7, 10 degrees on top of ambient. And obviously it's not the first opening of gas that you have to look at, but it's just after that, see the temperatures when they stabilize and the revs go up and then it continues going. So uh, I am not doing this in the same way I'm not doing my content to sell parts and these parts are not on the market. Uh, I'm thinking of what to do in terms of maybe giveaways or to share the 3D files for free with you in the community. I don't know yet what I will do, but uh, yeah, I would like to, to trade some trade uh, some popularity with, uh, with the work we have been doing with my friends here. So maybe that could be an idea, but we will see. But anyway, uh, if you want to improve your GIR is cooling and uh, handling dynamics, therefore aerodynamics in a proper way, what you do want to do is to install some bonnet vents. And you can design your own, you can find something on the market, but I mean, this is what you want to do. So I hope this helped and uh, as usual, uh, please subscribe and follow me on the channel for more content. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.